oh wow, humidity fog from an air conditioned space to Colombo. Today I'm thinking we're gonna get a late breakfast. We're gonna check out McDonald's. Now, the reason why I really like staying at that capsule hotel, other than the fact that I'm super tired right now and I don't think I could move to one more hotel, it's within walking distance to certain things that I, I know I want to explore. Where some of the fancier hotels are a little more removed and I don't feel like taking a tuk tuk. So, <laughs> he even have a coffee bean. Singer. You know this looks, the sign looks like the sewing brand in the United States. It's really not. <laughs> it's supposedly like a financial center. Ironically. Ah, oh, there's the golden arches way down there. I can see it already. There we go. Hey there, Sri Lanka Ronalds. Let's see what's on your Sri Lankan menu today. Okay, here we go. I had difficulty figuring out what to get. I have an order of Korean rice, mick rice, a veggie burger, and a vanilla milkshake. They've given me two spoons, which means they expected me to have two people eating this meal. The mick rice is actually 430 rupees, around a little over two dollars. The curry rice is the cheaper one. It's 200 rupees, which is probably around a little over a dollar. Let's try the mick rice first. That looks really interesting because you've got the salad in it, the of fish. I'm really curious about the rice itself though. It's definitely a little spicy. This is good, but yes, it could use a little sauce. With the salad, I've got some onions, carrots, and I think it's chili. That's what this place might be. But it's not burning my mouth. Mm. It's still McDonald's filet fish. Can't go wrong. Reminds me of my childhood days, school lunches. That's the filet fish McDonald's is known for in my mouth. After I make a mess of this, let's try the sauce. Mix it up. Ah. Mm. Mixed together, everything kind of works a little bit more cohesively. You got like the basic kind of rice with a little bit of spice to it. You got the salad with the onions. I want to say cut jalapeno peppers. That's kind of what it tastes like. And then you've got the sauce. All of those things working together. Kind of like a nice rice salad. Now you can actually order this with chicken instead of fish. I feel like this is more like a meal. You know, if you want your little veggies, your veggies, your rice, and your meat. Now we have the rice going on here. Mm. I like this rice a lot. Immediately, it's kind of like a, got a scented flavor to it, like a very floral or a berry taste or something. Something in that realm of tasting anise or like licorice flavor. A bit of a fried chicken dipped in like a sweet sauce. There's a little bit of chili on it. It's more like a Cajun. I want to say it's a Cajun sort of. I can't name it. It's really bothering me because I know I've tasted it before, but Chicken's not really my deal. I'm gonna go for the rice and put some of the dal on it. It's good dal curry. It's curry, you can taste a bit of that coconut flavor to it. I could eat a whole bucket of that. I'd be like obese. It felt that pleasant hitting my taste buds. I think out of these two rices, I prefer the curry rice one more bite. Good dull curry just makes me so happy. The Korean rice is the bomb. But I like the fish fillet. One thing that's, that I like, you notice that right there? It says veg. Now, let's try the vegetarian burger. In the United States, I don't believe we have a vegetarian burger at McDonald's yet. We have them at Burger King, so this should be interesting to try. I know McDonald's in India has a vegetarian burger, and the burger patty is more like a potato patty. Let's see what the Sri Lankan take is on a vegetarian burger. I'm tasting the ketchup and the cheese. I'm not really tasting the veggie burger. So I picked up a piece of burger right here. Let me just try it. And I like the deep fried part, but I can't really taste what's inside it too much. I'm tasting mostly the outside. I do see vegetables in here. I'm just not tasting them. This veggie burger cost me 430 rupees, which is roughly around a little over $2. Like 
maybe 250. I wish you could taste it a little bit more. Maybe make your patties a little thicker so we can taste the veggie in it. It is a good option though for vegetarians and I do appreciate it. You guys came in a little too late. McDonald's, you should have had this a whole lot earlier. And I have to wash this down with a milkshake, a vanilla milkshake. And I realize McDonald's has been getting smaller and smaller in their sizes of things. I think the Sri Lankan version is even smaller than the than the US version, I could be wrong. It's a little milkier than the milkshake taste that we have at home. It's more milky than it is sweet. In the United States, I might have more of a sweet milky. This is more like a milky sweet. Milky does a body good. That's what I think of when I sip this. It's almost like sipping from a cow. In total, all of this roughly cost me around $6, which is pretty good considering it's McDonald's. I know in the United States, unless it's a value meal, ordinarily their burgers can get pretty pricey. So, thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know where is your favorite McDonald's in the world. What's your favorite meals? Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. I will see you in McDonald's, maybe in Sri Lanka. May the girl be with you. It's through resourcefulness and viewers like you who keep my channel going. So if you love what I do and want to see me continue creating solo travel videos, support me on Patreon. Jump behind the scenes with others for my latest trip updates and reward perks.